The Fox and the Crow Once upon a time a crow was very hungry but did not get anything to eat He got tired and sat on a branch of a tree Suddenly he saw a piece of cheese in a plate. He flew near the plate and picked it in his beak and flew away. He was now looking for a safe place to sit because he never want to share it with other crows. On his way he saw many other of crows. who wanted to share cleverly he avoided them and sat on a quiet place on a tree a cunning fox saw the crow with cheese her mouth started watering she quickly made a plan to get cheese from the crow she said Hello crow I am Foxy Foxy and I live nearby My friends told me that crows have a very sweet voice Is it true I have never heard a crow singing a song Would you please sing for me The crow was surprised because no one had praised his voice before but he kept quiet fox continued dear crow you look so handsome with your shiny feathers i hope you would sing a song for me please please the crow was carried away by the fox words He opened his beak and started singing. Ah! Ah! The time the cheese fell down. Fox picked it, ate it all, and ran away. When the crow realized what he had done, he felt very bad. He should not have believed the fox at all. Moral of the story is be aware of the flatterers. They are not to be trusted. The greedy dog and the bone. Once a dog was passing through the backwood of a house. He found a piece of bone. He picked it up and ran to a lonely corner. He sat there and began to chew the bone. He felt tired, so he dropped the bone and slept there. itself after a while he woke up he felt thirsty he did not want to leave the bone so he picked up the bone in his mouth and ran up to a nearby river in the river he saw his own reflection the greedy dog thought that there was another dog with a bone he wanted that too he began to bark the bone in his mouth fell down into the river the dog lost his bone 
Moral of the story is great leads to grief. The pigeons and the hunter. Once there lived a folk of pigeons. They flew from place to place in search of food. One day they flew on a long distance. They are flying, flying, flying a long distance and got tired. But they didn't find any food. They got tired in search of food. They are very hungry. It was then a little pigeon found some grains spread on the ground. The folk were happy and flew down to the ground. for feeding on the grains. Pigeons are so happy and they are enjoying the food. It was then a net fell Suddenly on them trapping every word in the folk. The net was a trap made by hunter. The folk saw the hunter approaching them. And they knew that they were all trapped. An elderly pigeon got an idea. He instructed the fog to pick up a portion of the net. By each of them and fly up in the sky with all their strength. They flew off carrying the net with them. Hey, come on, stop, hey, stop. They flew and reached on the valley of a hill where a group of rats lived. The pigeons requested the help of rats to cut the nets off. As the hunter reached the site, the pigeons were all free and escaped. The moral of the story is, unity is strength. The Thirsty Crow Story One hot summer day, a crow became very thirsty. He flew in search of water. But he did not get water. He was going to die for want of water. Oof, oh my god, I am feeling very thirsty. At last, he saw a pitcher. He at once flew to it with great delight. The water was so low, could not drink it. The crow tried to break the pitcher, but he could not. He tried again and again. To overturn the pitcher, but he failed. But there was a very little water at the bottom of the pitcher. 
He looked around and saw some pebbles lying nearby. He took the pebbles one by one and dropped them into the pitcher. The water reached at the neck of the pitcher. The crow drank water to his heart's content and flew away. The moral of the story is, where there is a will, there is a way.